all my shirtless cowboys at? Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now if you're new, welcome. We do movie reviews, series reviews, and monthly wrap-up tier lists. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, consider hitting that subscribe button. We are on the road to 500 subscribers. I did do a poll on Instagram about which series I should start. Yellowstone by far beat everything else that was on there including Fleabag, Succession, and Dope Stick. If you would like to participate in my next uh, poll, consider checking me out on Instagram. So Yellowstone is an American drama televised series created by Taylor Sheridan and John Linson that premiered on June 20, 2018 on the Paramount Network. The series stars Kevin Costner, Wes Bentley, Kelly Riley, Luke Grimes, Cole House and Gil Birmingham. The series follows the conflicts among the shared borders of a large cattle ranch and Indian reservation and land developers. The series fourth season premiered November 7, 2021. So the series follows the Dutton family owners of the largest ranch in Montana. The plot revolves around family drama and the borderline uh, Native American reservation and national parks. My brother-in-law has been like hounding me to watch this series. So Junior, here you go. Finally, I'm watching it. So yes, this is basically like a modern day Western type of series. And just kind of straight off the bat, I'm not really big on Western movies, Western shows. I mean, there's some that I'll watch, but I really can't say that there's like a Western that's like in my favorites of anything to be honest with you they're just not my jam sadly enough I'm just gonna tell you guys off the bat right now I'm not fully impressed yet like I totally don't see the hype yet for it I'm wondering if this is one of those series that I have to give like another season a chance to fully get like wrapped in there and fall in love and get the hype for it but as far as season one goes I I don't see it. I will give it another shot. I'll give it season two. And by season two, I'm not fully like in there. You'll, I'll let you guys know at that point whether I'll continue on with the series or not. But as of things are going on right now, um, I really don't see myself sticking with the show. So we are uh, following the Dutton family here. This is a family, very powerful family in Montana who owns like the largest ranch, the cattle ranch in like the US. I think that's what they said. Um, so of course, we have like the Indian Reservation and, and um, just like general people that have come around that said like no one man should own this much property should be shared with the people and of course the Indian Reservation is trying to take their land back and then we have like these developers who are trying to like zone in on the property to of course make condos and golf stuff and you know just ruin the beauty that is the Montana valley and everything and put up buildings and condos and stuff like that. John Dutton played by Kevin Costner, patriarch of this family. Um, he has four kids I think it is. The cast here you guys is absolutely wonderful. Luke Grimes who plays Casey Dutton who's like the youngest one. He's more like the rebel. Kylie Riley who plays uh, Beth, the only daughter. She's basically like the She's basically like the bitch of the family, the evil one, the one that gets shit done. I love her. She's definitely one that has like the daddy issues and stuff. Uh, we have Wes Bentley uh, who plays Jamie Dutton. He's the lawyer of the family because of course you have to have a lawyer. And then we have Cole House um, who's um, Rip uh, Wheeler. He's basically like the muscle, I guess you can say. He's definitely the one that you call to get shit done, you know. And then we have Kelsey um, as as Mmm. Uh, plays Monica Dutton. That's uh, Luke Grimes' um, wife, um, Casey's wife. So that's gonna be my, my first positive. Is that the cast is really great. Uh, the script, the story uh, telling, uh, very very good as well. I love the scenery, the Montana deal. But I feel like the look and the scenery of it all really kind of takes away sometimes from the story that's happening is very very much distracting because it's beautiful i feel like for season one we did get really great character development i feel like we got to know a lot of these characters um who they are where they're you know where they're at right now in their lives uh, we got to see things about their past that make them who they are now. It really honestly gave me Sons of Anarchy vibes. Um, it really, really did. There's a lot of killing going on here, you guys. Like, a lot of killing. Of course, we have the Cowboys um, happening here. But it's very, like, political. 
Um, very much family drama. I feel like they could have done more with season one, uh, but I get it. You know, they were just kind of setting up to what's to come with everything else. But right now, basically, um, they're trying, well, John basically is trying to fight to keep his ranch because we have all these people trying to come on and like take parts of his land who's been in his family for generations. He's a very, very powerful man. Um, he like has connections everywhere, you guys. I was really thinking, oh, well maybe it'll be one of those series that the last two episodes are gonna be like so good. It's gonna leave me with a cliffhanger and I'm gonna be ready for season two. And unfortunately, it didn't really do that for me. But I feel because, you know, it was voted upon, I should stick with it a little bit more. Like, let's see what comes upon the Dutton family. Uh, how many more killings? I'm sure it's gonna be a lot. You know, it's like a gangster family also. You guys. Like I said, it's like the Sons of Anarchy. Technically speaking, you guys, the show is great. Uh, we have a great cast, great performances, great scenery, the script, the directing, uh, the concept of it is it's pretty okay. But again, it's just not really my cup of tea. So just like as a whole, 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 it just really wasn't for me. That's really gonna be my overall thoughts on season one. I don't really feel like too, too much, like big stuff happened, you know? Like stuff happened, you guys. Like there's a lot of deaths. Like I said, a lot of people die. Like somebody actually major from the family, which I will say a sibling dies, okay? In the way that they handled the sibling's death, I didn't like it was just really a lack of emotion I mean I would be devastated if my siblings died you know I would be like what and like they're just like whatever but I get it you know not everybody has the same like bond like heavy bond like we have like we're very very close-knit uh, family here but I understand that there's a lot of people out there who are just not close like that with their family with their siblings so I guess in that aspect right I you know I guess uh, but yeah I mean if you've seen Yellowstone season one let me know what down below what did you think about it did you like it did you love it did you hate it was it just not for you should I stick around after season two like when does the actual excitement happen because for me nothing really major happen here like nothing here made me go oh shit what like no I was just like oh okay I guess but nothing really was just like ah no I guess before I close this off if you haven't already don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new until next time I'll see you guys at concessions bye